In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can add in features like interstates or railroads and then clip them around the boundary of the shapefile that we're ultimately working with. Um, so we'll go ahead and add data. And we'll navigate to where that data is kept. Uh, I keep buying right here. And I'll go ahead and add interstates. And you can see if I go out to the full extent by hitting the earth here, there's a, that data layer shapefile of interstates covers the entire United States, um, which is obviously more than I want. And I want to be able to have just the interstates as they exist inside of the Denver Aurora urban area I've created. So what we can do is go to geoprocessing up here at the top, and we're going to clip those interstates off at the boundaries. This is a rather intuitive um, menu here. The input feature is what we want to clip. So if I pull down there, interstates, the features to be clipped. The clip feature is what I'll clip around, which is our shape file they're working with. Ours is called Denver Tracks here, Den Tracks. And then output feature class is where we want to save them. And you want to make sure that that does, in fact, save to where you're um, keeping all of your data. So I'm going to call this Den Instate for Denver Interstates. And we can go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it clipping away here at the bottom right. And I'll pause while that finishes. OK, it finished. It usually takes about 10 or 15 seconds um, and shows you when it's done. And what it did is it added a new uh, layer over here, data layer. Um, and I can get rid of the old one, right click on interstates and remove it. And it's hard to see, so I'll just do a normal click on the little line here, and I can increase the width a little bit, say to 2.5, and so you can see them. And you can, you know, left click and play around with the color, um, something like that. So that's how you go ahead and add in things like railroads and interstates and go about uh, clipping them.